and welcome back to Operation Exploration. Okay, so what we're going to do now in this here episode is we're going to create a second point. Um, probably 90 degrees uh, from the axis of Earth to that one over there. So what I mean by that is if you imagine that was on an axis of zero and relative to Earth, then if we go 90, if we were to go like 90 degrees on Earth pivot, we're going out um, to put the second point in. So there is a bit of a lag here, so I might stop the recording and try it again. Let me just see what it's like. Sometimes if I hop out and hop in, it works. No, that's alright. That's okay, that's perfect. Just check everything that's working. Um, I was a wee bit confused there. I was like, why is it going down so quickly? And that there's coming up fairly, fairly. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So what we'll do is we'll uh, travel out for a wee bit longer and then what we'll do is we'll put the second point in. And then what we'll do is we'll create a satellite and we will push it probably somewhere in that direction there. That it's looking at this here orbit but it should be able to see those two points without um you know like the earth or any other object obstructing it let me set a laser point uh, i think there's a laser on this somewhere i can't remember where i put it uh, put it somewhere uh, it looks like it's gonna have to go on the back or something i can't remember where i put it oh is that it no it's not that's the antenna where did i actually put that maybe i didn't put one in let me check Laser. There is a laser in town now. I don't know where I put it. Anyway. Um, I'm actually really confused because I do remember putting one in, but I just can't remember where. It would have to be on. Oh, there's there. There's there on the end of it. Right, okay, so it's. It means that the satellite has to go on that side, but I'd rather, if it wasn't, I'd rather it was on that there side because of the the fact that the moon is over on that side as well. So what we could do is we could have like a redundancy link where the satellite connects to the moon and also connects to the ISS and that means that it's a redundant connection. So a bit of a topology really. Um, so what we'll do is we create a second point here now shortly. Oh, I just noticed there's a hole in the thing. Oh, hold on a second. How did I not notice this before when I done walk around checks? There's a gaping hole. <laughs> so this, that's why um, it wasn't. Uh, is it any wonder it wasn't? Um, what do you call it? Airlocking. All right, let me get that fixed. So let's grab some. Uh, uh, some plate. Let's get that fixed. That should be enough. Right. We'll fix from the inside. So uh, we'll see now. We need that weird looking block. I don't even know the proper names of these here. Light slope. So we need um, shift. Turn that around. And then we need the just the slope. I think that's it. Let's check to see if that's um Ah Yes. There we go, that was it, that was the reason. Okay, so um I thought I did give this thing a proper walk around. I don't know. I had to wonder sometimes about my actions. Um, right, let me check here now. Can I take off the helmet? Oh, I can. Excellent. Now we don't have to rely on an oxygen tank. Good, so this thing is pressurized up. That's good. Um, I'll probably create a, a script. Well, I do have a script made one time before, but I don't know if I have it saved in my list. One that checks the pressurization in a room, and if it drops, it sets off an alarm. Um, but I'm pretty sure it actually does that. 
Is it not an action? No, so if the room is pressurized, it's... Let's check. Oh, the lag. Why is it so laggy all of a sudden? Uh, right, set up actions. I don't know what this means. Uh, oh, Christ, the game is so laggy. Let me check. Um, the CPU is almost at 100%. Jeez. What's going on there? Something's not good. Right, let's um, go back in. Right, where are we now in relative to that other point? I think that might be actually far enough. And then what we could do is we could build... Well, how far are we from all the ores? Right, we're almost... Uh, Tell you about what we will do. We'll get the middle of this, the lateral line of this here, level with all ores, and then we'll put the second point in. Because then, no, 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 no. I was gonna say we could build the satellite on the all ores, but then I remember, no, it's just too. We can't see this point. We won't be able to see the ISS. We're going to what's known as a dark spot where there's no connection to it. So the satellite has to go over. The hell? Oh, I wasn't using that. My bad. Um, so there's a dot there, roughly in the middle of the screen. So if we use that as a pointer, we're gonna put the satellite there, somewhere around there. Right, are we level with this here yet? Not yet. But I think we're okay to put it here now. So I'm just gonna mark another point. So there is a GPS. And we have an ISS point one. I'm gonna ch change that back to white. And then we're gonna make an ISS point two. And that's also gonna be white. There we go. Right, excellent. Okay, so now we have that. We can take. Um, we go to take the other ship. Now we turn on our helmet because we're going outside. Uh, let's get into this here thing. Um, start building it. Now it's not actually going to be satellite, and we're going to mount it on an asteroid, but we need to find an asteroid that is sort of, you know, on its own. So uh, let's hop into the. Oh, the lag is dead on this here today. Right. So we need to go off in the direction to our left. Okay, so let's get everyone on. Disconnect. I think it's six, is it? There we go. And I'm just gonna turn off the dampeners. We're gonna go in this direction here. Give it a little speed. So we need to be able to see ISS point one and ISS point two. So weird to see the atmosphere from here. You know, so if you go like dark there on the left and the light on the right. I think that's fast enough, so let's get this here thing. Oh, 
Okay, so there's an ASS point one. An ASS point two. Maybe there's a flight right now by asteroid where we can see. But we need, do need to get onto the middle and point here on the screen. We do need to get to the middle of the Earth. So, so we need to keep uh, going. So we, we have to head in the direction of all ours and then we have to go up to that. We, we could have used the moon but we did lose it there whenever we disconnected from the ISS we did lose the sight of the moon so that's not uh, useful. It's a bit of a shame really because we could have used the uh, Earth moon based as a connection point for two of them. Right, where is that thing relative to us now? So there's ISS point one. Right, we're too far. There's this ISS point one and ISS point two. So we need to go up higher. We should be able to see them. You see, as I said in the last episode, in order to do this properly, what you have to do is you have to create at least three points where the ISS travels. So you need one and say if you start at an axis zero you do need one you need another at 90 and then you need another at 180 it's optional to get another one at about 270 but not 100 percent needed right so we can see those two points there see we, we do need a third one Alright, so we can see those two points there. Now, what I might actually do is, um, Still too far. To, uh, we're too close to the Earth. So we need to go out the way a bit. Let's go to an asteroid some distance away that we're outside the zone. Uh, if we look back on this here, we should be. If we keep the middle of this, the middle of Earth. That's when we know when we're sort of going directly away from Earth. I'm gonna take it down a wee bit. Keep going this way here until we come across another asteroid that's directly in front of us. There's something there. Try and get on to this here. And wait until we're sort of at the start of it and then you swing it around. That's how you do a quick stop. Schnooks do that in real life. This was a nose down quick stop, it's called like a handbrake. It's like a handbrake stop with a schnook. Alright, let's get uh, on to this. 
Uh, we still have the sound of the ISS. A bit of a bug there is. Alright, let's see what we can see from here. We'll get docked with this here first. It's good enough location. We're out of the the um oh, that. We're out of the zone. So there's no uh, no sound there. Um, it's a bit loud that. Right. Okay. So where are we? We're facing that way. There's the earth there. Now, what what points can we see? Okay. So we've got ISS point one, ISS point two. We do need a third point about here. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get the um the space station again. So what is it? Anti list. And oh, I didn't rename it. I forgot. I think it's called static grid as well, it wasn't or small grid or something. Something weird anyway, static grid. There it is there. Right. That's it there. Okay, so that's good, right? We can see it there. So as long as we can see voyage from this point here. That's good. And we should see it. Satellite location. And it is heading to satellite location. So if we can see... If we can see... Um, satellite location from Voyage. That's 100% because that's where that's going to right now at the moment. So if we can see... Um, satellite location from Voyage. That's alright. So let's go back to us. We can't. Well, we, but we can. But... It's telling me. That's actually good to know. So what we need to do now is we need to take that point and we need to take that point and this third point here which is the satellite location and we need to we have to go down further in order to get a proper view of this here and then that'll be it. So let's hop back in. So I'll explain this as I go along. So we need to get out of the way of this here first. Out of the way. Good. Now, what we have to do now is we have to rotate this here until we can see those points there, but also that this here. So we need to go down the ways because we're too high. We need to go do down more into the axis of uh, the earth a bit. And we need to get the same distances. So it says 165 and 169 there. We need to get this here to the middle of that as well. So we need to keep going down until the, those three regions are pretty much the same thing. And that's when we know we're in a proper triangulation point. It sounds a bit confusing, but it does make sense. If you drew straight lines of equal distance from those three points, they would all match to one point where I can see everything. So regardless of where you put uh, a waypoint around the earth that should be the exact same distance of where those other three points match that's why you need three points you need one well it's for the triangle really so that's 166 that's one same so that means that we have to go a wee bit to the right as well but we do need to bring it down but i'm gonna look down here as well because i don't want to hit any asteroids and then what we do is we pick an asteroid that's you know close enough to that those three points. So what are we? So that's 189. Those are starting to go up now. So 187, 186. I think about 180. There's 177. I think about 175 is perfect for both. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this to 175 each. So what we'll do is we'll go down a wee bit until that matches 175. And 
then what we're going to do now is we're going to go a wee bit to the right and forward at the same time and that should take us a wee bit to the right Is there any asteroids around us that's that distance away or so? We've got quite a lot to choose from, but I kind of want something that's sort of directly behind us. So now if we take this here and we sort of get those three points in, what's directly behind us? There's that one there. See this one here that's above the turret? I think that's the perfect point, so let's go to that. So we're just going to turn it around. I think it's this one here. So if we go outside and look back down that, we should be somewhat in the middle. Let me see. That's the roughly the middle, so yeah, it's this here. So let's go to this here and set up base. I suppose there's no point calling it a satellite because it's not... So it's just a relay station, so we'll call this relay station 3. Or space station, or space relay station. As I said in the last episode, if you're going towards an asteroid, try and keep a cross energy either below it or like around. Don't go over the middle of it. Because if you're overpowered, the last thing you want to do is go flying into it. And you know, if you keep to the bottom left, up or right of it. As well as down, you know. See, if we ever go over the middle, that way we went straight through that. gonna get uh, this here sort of level three of them yeah there is stuff on this as well if that's ice that's gonna be so beneficial if that's ice that's gonna be so good because now we can use hydrogen power on it Let's see what that was. Ice. Excellent. So we can get a drill in here to get that ice out. Now it's only a small pocket, but sometimes there's more of it. There's more ice. There's more ice there. There's quite a bit of it inside here as well. Yeah, it's a mixture of ice and rock, which is fairly good, but not that much. We're still missing the key. Quite a bit there. We're still missing the key components, you know, like for cobalt, etc., for building most of the stuff. But that doesn't say we can, you know, adventure out and get some more. All right, let's go back into Voyage. Right. So the way this is going to work is we need to relay from here to the space station is flying around those three parts. So we've got satellite location, ISS point two and ISS point one. And we need to relay it to the the moon. Because if we can relay it to the moon, we can also relay it back to Earth station. So if we're gonna build this here relay station, it's gonna have to be built somewhere about here. So that means that It'll have to be built in the front. So that way you've got a one point that's looking around those three parts there and then you've got the second part that's looking at the moon. Perfect. Now there's a, some sort of a thing there flying around. Uh, so we'll build it inside it. Just to make things no safer. We'll build it inside it. So let's get a wee bit of a base going here. And we will build it using um, heavy armor blocks in case it gets shot. So, uh, maybe we'll put some guns on it as well. I just wanted to see where the best point is. So, put the moon, put the earth. I think somewhere in here would be good. Moon. Maybe a wee bit around here. There's not much to it there. I might have to put a radio station in it as well. 
our radio station, our, an antenna as well. Yeah, here we'll do. Right, so let's get the first point on. So we need to get heavy armor blocks. And we don't align it to gravity because, well, we just don't. I'll just turn it around a wee bit. And we'll do it this way. There we go. And there's antenna goes on top of that, so let's just get that. And that's going on here. So that's gonna look around all those three points. And then a second laser antenna going off the side of it. Well, that's a bit... Let's get that carved out. There we go. And that's going to look at the moon. And now we just need to set up power, the rest, the whole shebang, etc. And that will be it. So it's not going to look too pretty, but just need we did need to do only one basic function, and that's keep those two places connected. Um, but we need also need to connect. We also need to get some ice here as well. So if we can get some drill set up, that'd be good. So let me just see where the nearest ice patch is that we could drill into. From that point there. There's one directly underneath it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. If we can get a drill here, going into that, that'd be pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's turn it into grid mode. Right, so that's grid mode, so it's connected to that. And let's see if we can get it, something built here. So, um, let me see. The drill is going to come out here. It's going to be inside of pistons to push into this and grind this all out. So the middle of it will have to be somewhere about here. Um, I think that would be right, is it? Right there? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to just build this here out. So pistons take up two blocks. So that's two. And then that's the top of the piston. Then we need a rotor conveyor top of it there right that's how far we need to build out and then just match this up with this it's going to come out one more just for our space oh the drills I forgot about the drills so we need to come out Drill, drills are three more so another there we go That can all pretty much go. Yeah. There we are. So that goes into there. Conveyor tube runs along here. So what we'll do is we need interior. I think we have interior plates. So we need conveyor tubes. And we'll just use the standard ones because they're just easier to work with. So we need a junction. A rotor. Two pistons. Actually, the rotor should be at the end of that, not at the start. Three pistons. Rotor. And... Drills? Can we get another piston in there with drills? No, definitely not. Right, so that's going there, and then it's going up. One, two, three, four, maybe? Four we could get in, yeah. Perfect. 
perfect. So there's a drill. Yeah. That pushes in three times. It should be good. We rotate it and now we just need to connect it up so we've got that. Uh, so we need to run a conveyor system back up to the top so the conveyor system can run along here. So let's uh, go back to conveyor. And that's not it, that's there. Uh, we're just going to do tubes. Or oh, do reinforce, yes, might as well. So what's that's going there? Was that conveyor tube? Curved, yes. And then this one's going up the ways. And then it's um, just pipe. Reinforced pipe, yeah. I'm not going to keep it that way. And then a curve. And then and that way, but come this way. And then it goes up the ways and connects uh, into a sort of same system as this. Although I feel like if we're going to dr dr drill into this here, it would make um, a nice crevice to put in like a base inside. But what we need is we need to set up base now before we do that because we have no way of storing all this here at the moment. So we're going to have to put like a temporary base out here. Um, pretty much the term is, and I know it's going to use a bit of language, but don't shit where you eat. Don't mess up. No, like, don't mess this here up. No, for where you're putting the base. So, if you're going to be building a base in here, you're going to have to remember that you still want to access the ice. Cause the ice might go all the way through. So, you don't want to end up building a base and realize that there's still ice underneath it. So, we're going to have to put a base somewhere. Need to be smart about where I'm going to put this base. I think it goes all the way through as well. I can't really see there. Um, right, so we have that. I suppose we could set temporary base here. We can get um, everything connected up because as soon as we get these here drills going, they're going to mine up the ice. So we need O2, we need O2 tank, we need engines, the legs, and we'll be getting stone. So we need a refinery. So we can build all that on this here. So we'll keep everything connected. So what we'll do is we'll actually put this here curved pipe. Curved, yeah. Like this and then we'll put the junction on top T junction like that or we'll just use an ordinary conveyor tube there that's all right so what we'll do is put a hydrogen tank on top of this no actually a car container on top of that go industrial with that so that's going on top yeah, it is. It's okay. But is there a... Yes, there's that. And then we'll put a uh, hydrogen on top of this. And we'll just use this one for now. That can go on top. But we don't want it to obstruct that thing on top there. Um, is it going to obstruct it? Nope, it's well out of his way. That's good. So we have that. We have a hydrogen. Now we need to put... Um, three O2 generators and three normal engines so what we'll do is we'll go nine O2 generators and they are turning around like this so we'll go one, two, three Three, and then normal engines are going on that. Or the engines can go on the side of these. But it's all temporary because we will be building it inside so I suppose we can put it here. Three of those and there is nothing underneath that so what we can do is we can put a refinery on top. Um yeah no no fine I'm not going too fancy on it. And then this 
it's rotating around because there's uh there's a there's there that's gonna go here and then we need a yield module and power efficiency module so we need speed no power efficiency so two of these and a yield module Uh, that's everything connected up. I uh, know it's not symmetric, but um, it's as good as we're going to get. Now, this isn't connected up to here, so we will do that here and then at second. And let's bypass the left, that. that's alright. So, what we can do is we can put a grand a number six. And then it goes over and down and this one steps down side of yeah, so go down one more and then connect in with the whole one I can not there we go that's Evan connected up I think looks like it um, right, now we can turn on the welders and get this whole thing built. Oh yes, I forgot there's stuff on this here. Yeah, it's fine in a way. So let's, uh, let's hop in. What is it currently um, doing at the moment? Right now? Right, let's take it round. Take it over as close as we can get it. There we go, I think that's good there. There we are. And seven. I right, should be starting at 11 now at the moment. Was it we're missing on half the stuff? So we've got interior plates we need, construction components. So we'll just make a whole set of different things. Uh, where is the? I'm just getting into this here for now. Production. We'll stop that for now, and we'll build. We'll build a couple hundred of different things. So build, yeah, I suppose, yeah. And this, this, and my quarters. 50 of those, there's not that many as needed. And a thousand of these, not motors yet. I think we're missing silicone. Yeah, we need to get more silicone, so rock pretty pretty much is needed. That's the same thing as well. We've got girders, yeah, I've got girders going. Solar panels. Just check and see what else we need. Reactor components we don't need right now. Have all that. That's good. Yes, 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 yes. I think that's pretty much it, yeah. It's getting a bit laggy. 
Um, we have to make all these different components here first. So we need to go and get silicone so that we can build up the rest of all those different things. As long as we can get those drills made, those are the first things first in the pistons. So we have pretty much everything else is getting done there at the moment. So computers, right, okay. So we'll try and prioritize a few things here. Let's get a few of these here made. Right, so it's done a few conveyor things there, which is good. Oh, if, if we actually start mining by hand, should it it should pick it up, I think. So as long as we run this here over. Right, so let's mine somewhere where it's okay. Just pick them up. We oh, did. Just gonna flatten out this face a wee bit. Alright, let's check to see if we can get the stone made and then get that silicone made. Right, so okay, okay, so we do a refinery, get this done. There's there's doing computers at the moment. And was that nickel that's missing? I have enough of that. That work away. I was just missing at the moment. Interior plates and motors as well as missing, okay. So I'll make sure that they're the first things to get done. A lot of play a lot and a lot of play so we'll probably need to make about two five thousand play i'd say that should be enough so we'll put that as the last i should be nearly done those It's, it's putting those in then. Yeah, it's building something. Oh, we need golden stuff. I forgot for the modules. Alright. I think that's... Once that there starts climbing up, I think that's when we'll stop it. I think that's going into things like uh, the drills and whatnot. 
Right, it seems to have done enough of those, so let's stop that. I think we might need more of these. Some more. Um, I'm gonna start doing these here now at the minute. Just the main ones. Is missing motors, construction components, and plates. Motors, yeah, so motors is the big one. We need nickel though, we haven't got any. We could go venture and out, you know, to those other asteroids, or we could go to all ores, it's not that far away. Could do that. Yeah, it needs nickel. Right, so what we'll do is we'll create a point here. Oops, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. We need to create a new from current position and we're gonna call this a uh, space relay station. And we'll do this in kind of a pinky color. I'll do. Oh, didn't save my color anyway. Not a big deal. Uh, right. Oh yeah, what is these here? I need. Oh, detector components, radio components, and superconductors. Right. Uh, that's quite a lot of stuff that I've gotten that. So a thousand of each of those. So we need um, detector components, superconductor, and radio components. Should be enough. What does it need anyway? Gold, and that's silicone and iron. Right. I would like to leave this here and work away, but. Um, it's it's just not gonna work like that. What does this need here? Because I can put a load of stuff in this. Metal grids. Let's get a few of them made. We have plenty of those, I think. Oh, it needs nickel and cobalt. I forgot about that. Right, so while that's working away, let's go and uh, let's go to all ours. Right, let's turn them off. And let's go to all ours. location. Now I know we could check them other asteroids for all that stuff but I feel like the time it takes to explore them you'd be better just going to a location that you know is pretty much out there. We could venture out to them later on and you know, get resources but we know for a fact that all the ores we need are on that one there. So we just need a cobalt, cobalt, nickel and um, Silicone. You can get nickel and silicone from rocks, but not cobalt. We need gold and silver as well for them superconductor so components as well, so we need to remember about that. We could go to the moon base and just grab all that stuff, but there's no fun in that. Let's see if there's anything on them. 
don't think so. It just looked like ice. Just drifting over at this speed. Not far now, forty kilometers out. So we should be there in about forty, fifty seconds. Not that much. I think what we'll do actually is we'll call it an episode once we once we get there because we don't want to run too long into it. No, why is that fair like that? That's weird. Right, uh, let's begin slowing it down. So, gold, cobalt, and nickel is the main things we need. And we'll just get some silver as well, just in case. I love the fact that it has that. Uranium would be good as well, no, just to have in case it runs out of ice. I also need solar panels as well. Alright, let's land it. There we are. Okay. So, we have all the ores here. Pretty much everything we need is in these crevices and stuff. Uh, what's that? that stuff there. That's platinum. So that's gold. Where's the silver and stuff? That's more platinum. There's nickel. There's cobalt there. But that's around the back. We can't get to that. I think. Yeah, it's in the back of that. Uh, what's that blue stuff? There's cobalt there, so we can get it from here. From this side. Where did I park? Voyage. Where did I park for age? Oh, it's around the back. Right, so... Oh, okay. I'll just have to find an entry here. That's alright. Yeah. And then we have a load of uranium here. Yeah, we'll get it on anyway. Right, so I'll end the episode here. Thanks very, very much for watching. If you have any suggestions or recommendations for this series, do drop it down below or visit this code channel that is linked in the description. I will be doing a few more scripts as well. Um, might not necessarily be this week, but I would like to get ones, you know, for like whenever your hydrogen's running low or it sets off alarms or, I don't know, changes the messages and signs, but we'll work it out anyway. If you have any like, uh, script suggestions or cells or you'd like something to be made, do drop it in the Discord channel as well and we can discuss it there and see how easy it is to set up. But other than that, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators. You helped make these videos possible.